let's come to something interesting called as loosing. What loosing is all about? What loosing is all about? So, whatever the search mechanisms you are doing so far, okay? Yeah, because I think uh, the search mechanisms, right? Whatever the operation with the, okay, fine. Whatever the search mechanisms. So, for example, when you're going to Google and you're searching something, correct? You're going to Google and you're searching some important keywords or you want to search. So, the basic the search mechanisms, right? Lucene is a very powerful library for doing the search. But it is targeted towards a text library search, full text library search. Today, a lot of machine language developments like Mahout, etc., all those things uses Lucene very, very effectively. It's an index system. It's going to index the data, whatever has been provided. It's going to index the data and it's going to so when you provide in totally data of different standards, so you're going to give a paragraph. Let's consider you gave a paragraph or you gave a paragraph some some level of things. And the best way to always providing a search is indexing. Right? If you index something, if you say at point one this is going to come, at point two this is going to come, then only you can search it effectively. Otherwise you can't search effectively, right? You understand, right? So, any amount of data given by the user, it may be from a file or it may be from the string. So, Lucene is going to make it indexed. So, once it provides an index, so it's going to provide you the search in a very, very, very faster action compared to the other things. So, for example, if I have a paragraph and in the paragraph I want to find a particular word, okay. So, so if I have, to, so for example, if I give you a paragraph, Let's consider I have a very big paragraph and in that paragraph I want to find how many times this word has repeated. Okay. A very real time use case, correct? This is what most of the use case ends up. We always have to find in a given document or a given text how many times the data are repeated or how many times the particular text has been repeated, we have to find. So what is the best way of doing? The best way of doing is indexing the words in the paragraph. That's what using is going to do very, very effectively. So when you index something, it's going to make your life very, very easier to search. So that's where losing comes up. It's a full fed, full fledged text search engine. So what it's going to do is that what the amount of words you have, it may be words can be big or small or etc. Even a big file also. Losing is going to index it in such a way and also it's going to provide very, very powerful query mechanisms so that you can query it effectively. Okay, that's what losing is all about. And losing is the most real-time used search engine today, like Mahout, etc. and all. Use losing to a very, very, very great extent. Okay, so losing is very, very critical. So, particularly the very latest version of Hibernate 4.0 have targeted towards this. So, Hibernate search is has targeted losing to a very, very, very great extent. Okay, all the real-time analytics I have been using losing again. Okay, so that's the uh, how using keep enumeration dynamic. So that's the power of the framework. Uh, it's having a very strong indexing mechanism. You can rerun the indexing whenever you want. Got it? Ash? It's not like always you have to go. So if I want, if I if I have given a paragraph, I, after some level of time, you can again go back and run the indexing again. You can run the indexing again and again and again. And so that the search will be very, very much effective. Okay, fine, hash, got it. So it's not a problem. You can you can go back and run anytime. You can schedule it anytime. So that makes the animation very, very easy for it. Call it, hash. It automatically index all the words. Or developer has an option to index words. Yes, yes, and the developer is also having an option to index words. You can provide a file, and you can index the data in that file. Okay, I'll show you an example something. Is it possible to create index with every word? Yes, yes, it can do it. It will do it. That's the powerful mechanism of the losing edge. Okay. If I modify the paragraph, yes, okay, you can you have to read them. That's all. Got it, Ash. Got it, Kuna. What I'm trying to say? It can do, it will do. It's a very powerful mechanism built only for that. So, so basically what it does, the mechanism is pretty simple. Okay, 
It is, is it possible SQLDB or no SQLDB also? Yes, Narendra, we are going to see that. So now interestingly what's going to happen is that Lucene is now doing on the file system. Hibernate is going to use Lucene to work with the databases. This is what the brilliance Hibernate is going to do. The same level of thing whatever happens, Hibernate is going to do with the database level itself. That's why the search engine is going to be very, very effective. Maybe SQL or no SQL both. That's why Ibernet now become a very, very bigger impact in the market. Particularly the next slide when I speak on NoSQL, which is going to be very, very interesting. The Lucene and the NoSQL makes Ibernet very effective because of Lucene is something which is coming with analytics. So now you can use analytics on your database data because Lucene is there. Right? So it, this makes things very interesting, correct? Okay. So the main backbone of Lucene is a powerful, powerful indexing. You can, you, can, you can write yourself with a separate index writer. You can say these are the fields I want and I want to index only these fields. You can even say that. Okay. And a search. As I said, it, it is having a very, very, very powerful searching mechanism queries. You can frame your queries to a very, very, very great extent. Okay. Fine. I will show you in an example channel. I am going to open an example now. I will show you what are the index writers, etc. Fine, Tinder. I will show you an example so you can see that. Fine, Tinder. Yeah. I will just show up an example. I am just going through the slides. We will come up with an example and do the same. Okay. So the index searcher, but the, the name index searcher itself, the built in class. Fine, Tinder. They are built in classes. They are, they are general built in classes called as index searcher. And index, you can have any number of classes, subclassing them. These are the parent classes. Okay. So, losing is basically what it is trying to do is that any amount of text provided by the user will be taken and indexed, and such will be provided with a very, very powerful query mechanisms on top of them. So, this is what losing is telling. And believe me or not, today losing is the most widely used in data analytics. Okay. Now, Let's take a use case of such. I'm going to have a file system or I'm going to have a basic paragraph of words. I'm going to do two level of examples. So first level of example is searching. Second level of example is only to do indexing. I want to do only to do one indexing and what I have to do. So let's go back. All these practicals are good, right? Practicals are always a good thing to see. Okay, everybody able to see the eclipse? Can I get a quick yes? Please. Yeah, so let's see, let's see first how the indexing is going to happen in Lucy. Okay, so this is an indexing, a very basic Java code. So if you see here, Lucene is asking me, provide the data what you have to work with. So I'm telling this is the data path. And it's telling, tell me where I have to create the indexes. So let me give a new location, index underscore new, because already I have done this example, right? So now what it does, it creates a file system directory, which all the files available under this data, okay, uses an index writer. Fine, index writer is the direct built-in class. Fine thing, can you see it here, right? Fine, and writing it. So when it's creating the index, what happens? It is trying to get a document by document, whatever the line is available from the file, it gets one line at a document and it writes three things to the file. What is the content? What is the name? What is the path? Where I got the content? From which file I have cut, cut the content? And what is the file path? So now let's take the data first. Where the data is there, let's take the data. So EADVK data. Okay, so, uh, sorry, I had to go here. E -H -H edit. I have some three level of files. So, edit with notepad plus plus, something is there. Edit -E has a, uh, so let's open all the three files. It says Edit is a leading global online training provider, leading online makes life easier for learner. Fine, good one. Have another file. So, same thing. I have repeated the same things. Nothing else I have done. Let's take another file. So these are the three files. So let's go on to this application. Let's see how effectively it creates indexing. Then we'll go for searching. So running this as a Java application. See, it created index. 
it says total files index 3. Just even before I finish clicking run as Java application, it says I have indexed your complete files. So it has gone through all the words, it indexed very, very, very effectively. So let's go back and look how can be that much how that much faster indexing. So index underscore new is the folder we have given for indexing. So it created its own way of indexing files. Now this index it so it's now going to search based on the efficiently created index files. If you see the amount, the speed it has created the index. Three files. In order to do even a file open and close will take some time. But it has created it. Right? So now if you go back, let's do a, a basic uh, to say searching kind of thing on top of that. Okay. As I said, uh, searching. So this is a standard. I am using a very basic standard analyzer. So this is what the point I am trying to say. It's a very, very, very powerful query algorithms. So you can pass the query, you can say which is the word you have to search, okay. If you want to see what is it, uh, what is the query you have to search, etc. Now, uh, now when you run this application, okay, now interestingly, this is going to come very fast. You know why? Because it came from the index. I, I, I even can't do this with control F, correct. I created, I given three files, it indexed. I'm asking, tell me where under edit record comes. Listen, you gave me three files. This is what edit record is coming. I have made three hits and this is what I got the output. This is quite amazing, correct? If I open the file, even a controller, I don't know this much fast. This is why I told Lucy is extremely, extremely powerful. Okay, so now what Ibernet can do here? We saw the use case of such, we understood, right? So I, I have created one, three files, which, which uh, I have created three files. I've given those three files. It created index and such is just like this. In the, every, everything happened in a matter of seconds. So you can understand how much powerful using such is. That's why data analytics uses is great. Now, now the use case we are continuing. How Ibernet is going to provide? So we have to do with tables now, right? This is not with the, uh, this is not, it's understand, losing is very, very powerful to the file system. So is Ibernet is going to give a solution? So let's see what Ibernet is going to do. So what Ibernet is telling, I am going to use the same Lucene concept, but this time the index is going to be created for the tables in the database. Quite interesting, right? Ibernet is now coming back and telling, I am going to create index for the tables in the database. Whatever you are doing with the file system, I am going to do the same level with my tables. So this is where the interesting thing Ibernet, that's why I told the recent release of Ibernet was extremely powerful because of handling with the powerful losing technology on the already available data. This is something quite interesting, right? So this is something new, something new to the to the complete world. Can we do with DB combinations, okay? 